Yeah, sixth place finish last week, but a couple of double bogeys already. Uh, this one coming up the slope, looking good. Has eyes, will it stretch? Birdie for Pendrith at the seventh. Beautiful, great shot. Oh yeah, he's gonna like that. Has a really good look for Birdie to pick up two points. We're playing as the fourth easiest at Old Greenwood for the second round. Very inviting hole location on the front part of the screen. One hop. He got away with one there, guys. <laughs> Not his best shot, but caught that little back slope. Patrick Rogers, great opening round, 15 points. Would have been a 7 under 64. This one on a good line, just right of the pen. He's an extremely high ball hitter with his irons. For him to have that kind of distance control at this altitude. Great look at Eagle here at the 12th yeah. for five points yes two points today just inside that cut line wedge in to the par four nice shot from Lipsky. so he is a guest caddy this week 145 yards it's no more than a wedge but you do have to control the trajectory let's be carrying deep enough to take the water out of play such a fan of Bo Hostler swing. That's a great shot in there, actually getting it below the hole. He's got kind of a classic old school sort of motion. Chicago, great spots. Here's Jeff Ogilvie a moment ago. His second shot was in the water, so this now for par. And that's a heck of a par save by Ogilvie. Yeah, saving a point there, and it's good to see Jeff back out playing this year. Took a pretty long hiatus, but he's in the golf course architecture business as well. Remember, this is the third for Carson Young after finding the penalty area off the tee at the 11th. Well, he's given a couple away already today. Had that wonderful round yesterday. Ooh, yeah, Ooh. coming back. He had a double bogey. The real best part of that was the release of the club down into the ground. Oh, Joel oh, Damon, ninth fairway. Oh, Eleventh fairway, Hostler. One ten on a down slope, and this is flighted down. Is it going to get that kick forward? Oh yeah, all over it. Oh, that's how you play it, Percy. That's exactly what you want to see. That was uh, really well done. Same thing. Back up into the wind, and if you're going to air anywhere, you have to air long here. Check out that balance in that swing. Spectacular rhythm. Oh, he needed that. To the 11th, David Lipsky laid back off the tee. Has hit seven out of 10 greens so far today. Two birdies, no bogeys. Ooh, spins that one back nicely. Could be birdie number three for Lipsky. There's Sung Kang. Just made a mess of the 17th, a double there, along with three bogeys on the scorecard today. That will help the cause. Chance for a birdie at the 18th. Climbing the rungs of the ladder to the top level. Oh, that has attention for a long time and for good reason. Third shot for JJ Spawn here at the part five 12th. Yeah, ball well below his feet here is the difficulty, but he just Kind of popped this thing right up there, rolled out up there beautifully. And that sets up a great look at Birdie. The lie looks fine. This is a right to left putt. This is very makeable. He's giving it a wrap. Oh, yes. Joel Damon picks up two and the little fist pump, too. He's at 13 points now. This is Cameron Champ's tee shot at 15. And it's a good one. It's a tightly tucked hole location over there. And the Champ's got it in there about 10 feet. He's got 19 points here. It's Justin Lauer bringing his Friday to a close here at 18. And Lauer's got it tucked in there tightly at the last.
Really impressed with Ryan Gerard, what he has done through 36 holes, 30 total points, 14 today. Marty Doe picked up 16 points today. He's in a tie for fourth with Patrick Rogers and Sean Crocker, Chess and Hadley. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.